Sup Loop community, my name's Edge, I'm a Logic Pro certified trainer, and in this session, we're gonna show you how you can use Drummer to accent your beats in Logic. So I've started building a basic beat as kind of the basis for my track, but what I'm really gonna do is that I'm actually gonna have Logic help me out a little bit, and I'm gonna start making some producer level notes. Typically, when you go into a studio and you're producing some band or a drummer, you're usually telling the drummer what you want them to play, and they're playing it back for you. And luckily, Logic has a bunch of built-in session drummers that you can use to start, you know, playing around with different versions of the beat that you've started. So let me close out the piano roll. And the way you close out the piano roll is just hit the letter P. That'll both bring the piano roll up and close it. And what we're going to do is that we're going to create a new track. And this track is going to be a drummer track. So we'll select it. And you can see there's a bunch of different genres that you can start working with. So if you wanted something like R&B, for example, you can hit Create. And while a drummer can really play an entire drum kit for you, you can also specify what parts of the drums you actually want playing. Now, I've already got a kick and snare pattern going, so I don't really need the kick and I don't really need the snare. But one thing that might be helpful would be some hats, maybe some claps and some percussions to either accent or completely take over the part that I've written. So let me mute my hi-hat part. Let me go ahead and adjust the cycle region um, so that I can go ahead and start um, just playing it from where it needs to play. And uh, because I don't need a drummer at the very beginning, I can actually shorten the drummer region as well by going down to the bottom left hand corner and just dragging it to start where my beat starts. Same with uh, the end of it. Every region does this, by the way. You can kind of use the, the bottom left and right hand corners to actually shorten and lengthen a region. But Back at Drummer, let's go ahead and play this and see what this sounds like on its own. Not bad. Pretty good for just a simple um, pattern. Uh, you can adjust the kind of pattern that you're working with by like uh, moving this little uh, performance grid around. So if you want a more simple beat, but you want it to be really loud, you can kind of move it up here to the top left hand corner. Or if you want a complex and loud rhythm in the top right hand corner is where you want to put that little grid uh, ball. So I'll go ahead and play that back and see if that sounds any different. And as we move it around, you can kind of get, you'll see you get different types of rhythms. You can change the hi-hat value to get some different options. I think three is pretty good. You can add more fills. Need some tambourine. Bring the fills down a little bit. You can swing it. Or not. And so you can see you've got a lot of options that you have at your disposal with just one drummer. Now, there's a bunch of different drummers that you can also pick from. So here on the left, you see in, in my library inspector, I've got Rose, but I can switch to Curtis and see what he's got. That'll change all of the different settings that I've set. But just to give it a go, see what we get. Again, I don't need a kick, um, but I do need just hats, some tambourines, and some percussion. Let's see what we get with a complex... Uh, loud drummer because I don't know about you but you know I love loud drummers <laughs> okay so let's see what that sounds like I think Rose, Rose made the cut. I'm gonna go back to Rose. Yeah, 
I think that tambourine's a really strong um, option. Great. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, keep my other hats muted. I'm going to stick with Rose because, you know, she's, uh, she's really hitting the, hitting the groove pretty right. I've got a solid drum set to start with. Now, if I want to extend this drum set, there's a couple ways for me to do that. I can click and drag over all of these items all together and I can just loop it for the rest of the phrase. That's one way for us to, to repeat sections, uh, which is probably the easiest way for now. We'll show you some different ways to repeat sections a little bit later on. Right, so that's how you can use Drummer to start accenting your beat if you've already built one and you need just a little bit more to kind of really set the groove for the rest of the track.